caustic soda or sodium hydroxide is a white slightly translucent and deliquescent solid that absorbs moisture from the air and in solution is a strong alkali and electrolyte. It is hazardous because it quickly reacts with the skin protein to destroy the skin surface. Sodium hydroxide is one of the top 10 most important inorganic chemicals in terms of quantity produced. It is important in paper and pulp industry and also in the manufacture of other inorganic chemicals. In the laboratory, it can be easily obtained by reaction of sodium oxide or peroxide with water, whereas its industrial synthesis is carried by electrolysis of brine. This is an aqueous sodium chloride uh, around 6 molar concentration, which is an important process within the chloralkali industry, which allows to stain also chlorine and hydrogen gas. There are three alternative technologies used to manufacture sodium hydroxide from brine, membrane, diaphragm and mercury cell technologies. The main difference between all technologies is the methodology to avoid that sodium and chloride gas come into contact. The reaction that happens are the following. At the cathode occurs the reduction of the water and at the anode the oxidation of the chloride ion. In the diaphragm cell, the anode area is separated from the cathode zone by a permeable diaphragm that used to be made of asbestos also now is made of polytetrafluoroethylene. Brine enters into the anode compartment where chlorine ions are oxidized to chlorine that is drawn off upwards. The resulting solution rich in sodium ions flow through the diaphragm separator into the cathode compartment where the hydrogen is formed. The resulting solution in the cathode contains both sodium hydroxide and sodium chloride. The solution in the cathode is evaporated one-fifth of its original volume, which leads to the precipitation of sodium chloride giving its lower solubility and is subsequently feature off. The resulting solution is 50% sodium hydroxide and 1% sodium chloride, which is enough for many propors. The membrane cell process is quite similar to that described for the diaphragm, but in this case there is a microporous polymer membrane to separate the anode and the cathode compartment. The membrane is only permeable to sodium ions, which guarantees to have a hydroxy solution that contains approximately 50 ppm of chloride ions. The major problem of this methodology is that the membrane is quite expensive and it can become blocked by trace impurities. The last type of cell is the mercury cell, which uses mercury as a cathode. In these cells, brine flows through the cell and, as in the previous process, chloride ion is oxidized to chlorine at the anode, but at the cathode, sodium is discharged at mercury. In this case, hydrogen is not liberated at the mercury surface because hydrogen gas has a high over voltage with the mercury electrode and therefore sodium cation gets reduced instead of water. Then, sodium dissolves in mercury to form a liquid sodium mercury alloy called sodium amalgam. This sodium amalgam is reacted with water in a graphite surface to give sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. This route allows to prepare very pure sodium hydroxide, although it has the problem that the process is accompanied by discharge of mercury into the environment, which is a source of mercury pollution. Around half of the production of sodium hydroxide is mainly employed as reagent in organic chemical plants and also as a rough material to synthesize other chemicals. It is manufactured as pellets or flakes and it's usually employed in synthesis when a cheap alkali is needed. An important use out the laboratory is in the pulp and paper industry playing an important role to separate lignan from cellulose fibers as a component of the white liquors along with sodium sulfide in the craft process. It is also employed in other stages of the fabrication of paper such as the process of bleaching the brown pulp resulting from the pulping process. 
It is also used in paper recycling, making fibers to swell, which helps to separate the ink that is attached to the fibers. Sodium hydroxide has significant use in the production of detergents and soups, and because it is all fat and grease, it is often poured down in household drains to unblock them. Sodium hydroxide is also used in food industry, mainly to break proteins, for example, to remove the skin of potatoes before processing, or as glassing agent for pretzels, or to remove bitter compounds in olives to make them edible.